What's up everybody, I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services. And if you've got a bathroom drain that's been draining slower and slower and just getting worse and worse over time, in this video, I'm gonna show you a common cause and how to fix it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go change and get this done. Come on. Slow bathtub drains are often caused by an accumulation of hair and soap scum and little bits of debris that get caught up in the first part of the drain assembly. Now, unless your home is really, really old and hasn't been updated, there's a good chance that your bathtub's drain assembly looks something like this. This is the drain at the bottom of the tub and this is the overflow. Both of those come together and flow into a P-trap and then past this point, it flows into the rest of your home's drainage system. Now, what'll happen is at the bottom of the drain, a lot of times there's a cross section like this and hair can get caught up on that and just collect over time. This is one of the most common blockages, especially if your tub has a shower attached to it and there are people with long hair showering there. Now, my wife's been complaining about our tub draining really slow and it's been getting worse and worse. So I decided to make a video and show you the process I would go through to fix it. I wanted to be able to measure how effective cleaning the drain was, so I timed how long it would take to drain five gallons of water from the tub, and then we'll time it again after we're done. So this took about a minute and 18 seconds to drain. So what we're gonna be doing is actually removing this piece right here and trying to fish out any hair or anything that's accumulated right there at that cross section. If your pop-up assembly looks like this, you're gonna unscrew the knob at the top and it'll reveal another part that needs to be unscrewed. If yours is tight, you may need to use a pair of pliers to break it loose. Insert a flathead screwdriver into the top of this other piece and unscrew it. This will reveal the top of that cross section that I was speaking of. Looking at mine, I can see that at least half of it from the top is blocked. If there's big pieces that you can pick out with your hand, do that first. Then you're gonna have to use something that has a hook on the end. You can take a wire hanger, and use a pair of needle nose to bend over the end to make a hook. Or you may have seen one of these little plastic things you can send down the drain. It's got barbs on it. I picked this one up at the dollar store. I think I've also seen them at the hardware store. I'm gonna start with the coat hanger with a hook on the end. I'm gonna stick it in and see what the hook catches. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, it's so gross and slimy. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, it does. Repeat this step a few times until whatever this monstrosity is that's growing in the drain stops coming out. Then I tried the little drain tool. It definitely did a good job hooking onto the hair and pulling more stuff out. <laughs> oh, that's so disgusting. Now you're gonna wanna be real careful because as you can see right here, right there, I actually broke the drain tool off in the drain. I was really worried for a second that I wasn't gonna be able to get it out and I was gonna to have to take things apart even more. Luckily, I was able to grab it with a pair of small needle nose pliers and pull it out of the drain. You can see here just how much stuff was down in the drain. I, like I said, I was not expecting it to be this much. When I look at the bottom of the drain, I'm just seeing a, a sludgy consistency that should just wash down the drain. Now that I've gotten everything out that I can see, I'm gonna turn the water back on and test it, try and wash the tub up a little bit. You can see how much clearer everything is now. All we have to do is put everything back together and then I'm gonna test the water one more time. Screw the plug in place and put the knob on top. Now I'm gonna close the drain and fill my bucket back up. It's draining so much faster now we were able to shave about 40 seconds off the drain time. Well, this obviously fixed my issue. If this didn't fix yours, you may have a problem further down the drain line. Uh, if something is stuck in the P-trap or further down the drain system, you may have to get a small hand auger to dislodge whatever's stuck in there to get the water flowing again or to get it flowing the way that it should. If you have the kind of drainage system that has a lever on the overflow, you may have something stuck on the plug or need to adjust it. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you like the videos that we're making, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when we release new videos. Until next time, good luck with your next project. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.